Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to another weekly recap. So if you're new to the channel, I always do a weekly forecast at the beginning of the week and a weekly review slash a recap just to, you know, show you guys what I was thinking and then I'll show you guys what actually happened. So that's what I'm doing in this video. If that sounds interesting to you and you want to keep up with my analysis and recaps and stuff, then click the subscribe button and don't forget to smash that like button too. Now, let's get straight into it. No messing around. So this is what happened this week. The week started off at this vertical blue line and there were a few setups. So first of all, I saw a break of trend line. Then I saw another break and then like of a smaller trend line and then another break of another major trend line. So I'm going to be discussing these trades, some of which I took, some of which I didn't. But yeah, so we'll first go back to what we thought would happen last week. I mean, you know, at the beginning of the week. So this was my bearish analysis. If price was to be bearish, what I thought it would do was, you know, obviously it broke through, did what it did. Now it was on its way up to this trend line. And I thought one way or another from this trend line, price is going to make its way back down to the 7,000 level. So there was a few ways this could have happened. So this is the bottom of the trend line, like this one here. So what I thought initially was price was going to touch here and reverse. That was the first trade I wanted to take. Then there was the second one. So as price was on its way down, I thought it was going to break, retest, and make its way down to this level. Now on here I said pay attention to price because I wasn't too sure what it was going to do around here. But we will get into that soon enough. So as you can see, well I didn't include the major trend line, but the trend line, you know, was the bottom of the trend line if you can follow my cursor was like it was around here somewhere pretty much price did not make its way up to you know the major trend line before dropping so because of that I didn't enter the trade I just I couldn't see a clear reversal I couldn't it didn't follow my plan or my strategy so I just ignored it now let's get into these individually first trade here which if we go back this was close to the beginning of the week so this trade was here, it was a break and retest of the trend line. So this was the trend line here, and this one wasn't a very clear break and retest, but you'd have to scale into the 15 minute time frame to see this one. So when I see price break, there's a couple of things I'll look for. Higher, no sorry, lower lows, lower highs. I mean, if it's breaking to the downside, then yeah, lower lows, lower highs. I like to see the green cross to, you know, below the red. And I like to see price below the green. So this green line, which is my 8 SMA, I like it to be in between price and this SMA, which is, if I believe it's the 20, no, sorry, it's the 20 EMA, 8 SMA, and then price. I like it to be in between those. Now I saw, yeah, okay, like, you know, lower highs, lower lows being created, but there was something else. Like that's not enough confluences for me. So I was looking for Fibonacci retracement level and as you could see here from this point on down to here it created a 15 minute you know fib zone retracement so it touched into the 0.5 level and rejected and made its way down and if we did continue the trade further on it did drop significantly so that was this trade here second trade that we have was this one here now it looks a little bit complicated but I'll try and break it down as best as I can so this big yellow box this is the larger time frame Fibonacci from this point here the push down to the bottom that's what this Fibonacci zone is for and as you can see the point six one eight was tested twice now I didn't enter on the first one because just price does some weird things sometimes and you know just because it touches it once doesn't mean it's going to drop straight away now sometimes it does like to come back up test it again before dropping and in this case it did that but it did come back up so with this trade which i didn't take i don't think i was you know this is where i'm more interested in i'm not really interested in this area here so price made a you know big drop what it did was it retraced up to this fibonacci level now it started dropping and it made a bullish candle here, uh, sorry, a bearish candle here, but then it came back with a bullish engulfing candle. Now that's not always a good sign and I don't really like to see that. Also, as you can see, the SMAs aren't crossed correctly, all well, my moving averages, because like I said, on the downtrend, I like to have price on the bottom 
Then I like to have the green in between, like, you know, just above the price and then the red above that. So didn't really work out here. But here we saw an opportunity. So let's go into this further. So I set up another Fibonacci retracement zone from the top here down to there. So that's why I have these yellow candles. It just indicates where I'm drawing my Fib zones from. And now this is what it came up. The the top line or the yeah, the top line is always the 0.618 and the bottom is the 0.5. But in this case, price retraced to the 0.38, which means the top one is the 0.5. So I saw multiple rejections here as I highlighted in this ellipse. Rejected it twice. Made a huge, you know, uh, bearish candle, which engulfed one, two, three, four. It engulfed a bunch of candles up here. So I'm like, okay, this is looking nice. This is looking nice. And pretty much, as you can see, just in this little area here, I have price right on the bottom. I have green in the middle. And then I have red on the top. So I have that. I have two Fibonacci's. So I have the one on the larger time frame, which is the two hour touch here on this 0.618. And then on the smaller time frames, I have price struggling to break through this area here. And it was touching the 0.38. Oh, that should be 382. It should be touching the 0.382. So, yeah, multiple confluences should have entered a sell here. Stops just above this area here. Target to the next significant level. Now, that would have been a super nice trade. I think I did actually try and take this trade, but my entry wasn't right. I must have been a little bit greedy somewhere and I got stopped out. But. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't stick to your trading plan. And now the third trade, which I'm currently in, which is this one here. I, I had a few things actually happen. So, trend line, price broke. You can already see the little yellow bit. So, you can already, you know, <laughs> you know there's a fib area here. But I didn't trade this area and I will get into reasons why. Okay, so price did break, as you can see, it started consolidating around here, and I was actually really waiting for this trade, because I knew there was going to be a massive dump from here, but silly me, I got taken out, like, just with these wicks here, like, just here somewhere, I put my stop loss a little bit too tight, I should have placed it, you know, above this last candle here, or maybe at this level here, but no, I got stopped out. Feels bad because it ended up playing out exactly how I wanted it to play out. But that's fine because I re-entered and made another trade. I've got two trades down here. But pretty much, yeah, I mean, it's following my strategy. Like, you know, Fib, breakdown, come up, created a lower high. You know, the green line was in between price and the red one. Touch Fibonacci areas, price dropped, you know, made another lower high, plummeted down broke this significant level, came back up to retest, and that's where I entered again. So you can see here with the moving averages, it's price, green line in the middle, it's it's very repetitive. So I've entered short here, and I scaled in. So this is one of the trades I took, and I think I had another sell up here. So this is a scale in, and I had a riskier trade placed here, which stops just above this horizontal um, line. So, yeah, pretty much that's what's been happening. And then further confluence, there's a fib line here. So I think I already included that. No, this is another one. So from here down to there, I think, yeah, boom, fib zone. That was another reason to enter. I don't know why I put this one below there. But, yeah, that's another reason to enter. Not only did it reject this resistance, it also rejected a Fibonacci area and is continuing to the downside. So that's pretty much my weekly recap. Um, that's what's been happening this week. And these, oh, this one's only the current trade that I'm in. So I can't exactly remember which trades I took. I did make a lot of silly trades, I must admit, this week. I was just, just being stupid head. But hey, this is what happened this week. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button if you like the video. Subscribe so that you can have, you know, these weekly reviews and these weekly recaps, you know, coming straight to your feed twice a week. And, yeah, put on the bell notification so you can be notified so you can stay on top of the charts with me. But besides that, thanks for watching. Now, I know I didn't have the little corner with my face in it. It's just because I was filming a video before and my camera went flat. But this should do. Same content, same value, same glory. I'll catch you guys in the next one.